Okay, write the answer in terms of i. It's just, if there is an i, then we should write it in here. So this would break up, this negative 25 would break up into negative 1 times 25. And I could take the square root of that stuff. And I could break this up even further so that I have the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25, like this. And the square root of negative 1 is i. And then I'd have multiplied by the square root of 25, which is 5. So this would be i times 5, but the more formal way to write this would be with the 5 kind of as a coefficient of i. So we would just switch this to be 5i. I show that because, I mean, I don't care as much, but the homework probably will. <laughs>